right guys thank you so much for watching I did resubscribe to BoxyCharm in August, so I have my August box to unbox, as well as my Ipsy and all of the things that I added on with my Ipsy. So we're gonna jump right in. I decided to redo my BoxyCharm because um, they were doing customization. You could choose between the Tidal Cream and the Glow Recipe Serum for next month, and so I did choose one of those. That was something that I that was the one reason why I wanted Lux in September. So I did get that and I'll have Lux coming up. And then I think I might just let it go for good after that. I don't know, Ipsy is doing their ultimate bag now too and I just, I don't know what to do. So let me know your comments down below what you think I should do with these boxes, uh, what you think is gonna be the best value or what you would personally get. All right, so here is the card. It did. This is supposed to come with extra pieces that were in the July box as well. So we'll see. The first thing in here is from Becca. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. And I've heard about this, but I also heard that it dries out really fast. So I'm going to leave it in its box because I don't want, I'm not going to be using it right yet because I just started a new setting powder. So I'm going to save that one. This does retail for $39, which is a lot for a setting powder. At least I think so. Then the next thing I see in here is Tarte Big Eyes or Big Ego Mascara. We all know how I feel about mascaras. I have so many of them and I it takes forever to go through one. You know, every three months or if they're terrible, much faster. This feels like a metal tube. It's really cool to the touch. And it's very, very bright pink. It's even brighter pink than my dress today. So that's the next thing in here. Then I have two eyeshadows from Ace Beauty. Ace Beauty, I don't know. This first one is like, they're both glimmer shadows. Oh, and the mascara is $23. And these are $25. I hope that's for two of them and not just one. So this first one is called French Vanilla, which is like a silver. Like I wouldn't think that this is a vanilla color at all, but that's what it looks like. They kind of feel like Super Shock, but not really like Super Shock. I w don't know why I was going to just smell it. Then we have Huckleberry, which is a pretty color, which is funny because I don't think most people know what huckleberries are they're they grow wild and they're like in montana and stuff so interesting so those are the two colors they're pretty i do like them and of course i forgot makeup wipes yet again we're gonna wipe them on the material in the box all right next up i see one of my extra gifts that was in last month's box this is the butter london what is this? Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. This is supposed to be $32. I have never tried any Butter London shadows, so I have no idea if they're worth it or not, but we will swatch them really fast. Oh, I should have shown it. You probably saw this all last month on other people's unboxings. So there are the four shimmers. That first one has like no payoff whatsoever because it's so light, but that's what they look like. We're gonna wipe my hands on the packaging again. Cause they have the foam in there and the foam is a good, it's a good makeup remover if you're just using shadows. All right, and then we have the last two which are matte shadows. We'll swatch them over here on the side. Those didn't swatch too bad actually. So those might have more promise than the shimmers even. But as a free gift, you know, for resubscribing or subscribing in the first place. I don't think that was terrible. I, yeah. All right, next up is an eyeliner. Oh, and this is like a super cheap feeling black eyeliner. This is by Hollywood and Vine. And like the lid doesn't even want to stay on. I keep pushing it in because I could feel it just like being loose. This retails for $7. Although I did do my, um, My reviews, 
I did my reviews on the site last night because somebody told me that if you don't do, they only let you do like five or six per month now. You know how you used to be able to do the review of everything and get points? They've cut that down so you can't do that anymore. But that said it was only retailed for $5 on their website, which is kind of interesting that there's different prices being told. All right, next up is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil from Wander Beauty. I, I don't know if I'll use this. I have so many oils and moisturizers I'm trying to use up. It's an it's a uphill battle because I just keep getting more stuff. This retails for $42. $42. That's a lot of money for a little tube of oil because this is not even a full ounce. Um... It doesn't even tell you what type of oils are in it. Oh, black currant seed oil. I wouldn't think that that would be so expensive. Who knows? And then this was the other gift that they included. This is the Gaia or Gaia three-piece brush set. And it retails for $30. And, oh, okay. I saw these last month. And I thought they were like the regular Ipsy. But they're more like a wash of pink over like regular wood they don't have like the enamel over the top of them so there are three of them in here this is the large eye blending then you have your precision crease and then foundation i think i'm going to put these in my pass along giveaway pile because i have so many brushes now and these aren't brushes that i would normally reach for so i'd rather just pass them along to somebody else who would enjoy them because these are amazing brushes. I love Luxie brushes a lot. All right. So doing some math, I came to the total of 134 because they said it was supposed to be $140 or more, but with that eyeliner, it wasn't. But I did get $62 more in free things, so that adds a little bit to it. Overall, I think it's a decent box. I do like these eyeshadows a lot. I think they're different and they're very pretty. We'll see about the mascara. I have had better luck with some of the Tarte mascaras than other brands, but I don't know. The Becca, I think that's a cool thing. That's something different that I haven't seen in a makeup box before. And then we have, well, the face oil. That's not something I'm really excited about. But I did like that I got extra gifts. I did like that I got to customize for next month, which is what I really was excited about. So we'll see after September what the October spoilers are, whether it seems worth it. Moving on to Ipsy. This is always like my favorite part of the month, opening this box. And they changed the little card. It's no longer one of those foldy outie cards. It's more akin to what they put in the regular Ipsy that they just started putting the regular Ipsy. All right, my add-on that I did get was the Golden Gold Fadden MD Doctor Scrub. So this is a Ruby, Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. And they did let me have a choice of what I wanted in the August box back in July, like middle of July. But this one was already gone as an option. It was like the only thing that I was really hoping to get. So I didn't, I opted out and didn't choose one of the things because I wasn't too excited about any of the other things. All right, I don't remember how much that retails for, but I did get it for $12. The first thing in here is in bubble wrap. And it is really heavy. My goodness, this is a really solid nail polish. This is called the shade Pillow Pie. It is Smith and Cult. And it retails for $18. It seems like a pretty color. I'm going to swatch it on my nail. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this comes off. That's interesting. I really don't, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts about the nail polishes that do that, because that kind of annoys me a lot of the time, just because it's an extra step. I don't know. I know like the Butter London did that too. So that's what it looks like. It is very just pale and very pale pink. Anyway, I love the bottle. It has like indentations on it and stuff, which is kind of cool. So that's the first thing that was actually in my box. Then we have from Hey Honey, this is Take It Off Exfoliating Honey Peel Off Mask. And I do really like Hey Honey. I have never bought anything from Hey Honey, but I've loved all of the products that I've gotten from them. So this 
brighten beautiful skin in 15 minutes um oh it says prep skin with a light moisturizer that's interesting i i probably wouldn't do that does anybody else do that let me know so anyway that's the next thing that retails for 38 dollars Wow, that might be part of the reason why I never buy anything from Hey Honey, because I didn't think it was that expensive. Then we have from Farah, we have some brushes. These retail for $50, which is overpriced as usual, because Farah brushes seem to be priced way more than any person I feel in their right mind would pay. All right, so we have a pencil brush, a concealer brush. Those are both ones I won't use. A mini tapered and then a angled brow which I don't use and then a mini shading now this is the one that I would use so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the mini shading and I'm going to put the other four brushes back in the package and put those in a giveaway or give those to a friend because I have some friends who do a lot more things with their eye brushes and stuff I basically use brushes that are shaped like this and that's it Anyway, probably not worth, you know, the $50 just for that one brush. Then we have In the Balm of Your Hand, Volume 2. And this is what it looks like. So you got eyeshadows on the top and then like face products on the bottom. Now I'm looking at this and I have the Matrimony palette, which is this first one. So I think I have Matrimony. Anyway, don't need that one. Oh, this is the Matador. Do, I think, I don't remember what I have. I know I have all of these space products though, because I was looking at it going, wait a second, when I saw people having it. I have a mini Bahama Mama. I have a full size down boy. I have a full size frat boy. Those are two blushes I really like. And I have a full size in stain. I have several in, of the in stains. And then I have multiples of the Mary Luminizer. So I am actually going to put this in a giveaway as well just because I would rather have somebody who doesn't already have duplicates of them and actually would like to wear it, wear it. All right, and then my final thing in here is from Murad. This is an AHA and BHA exfoliating cleanser and I love Murad face products so much. Their acne clearing cleanser is like my favorite. I have not tried this one, but I'm so excited about you. All right, so overall, $25 a month for this box, 21 for Boxy, I think with the eyeshadows with Boxy and um, the extra things that we got, I think that was worth it. This one, not as much for me, but I do think it's still worth it because I got some really good skincare. This retails for 39, so, you know, almost half of the box price. Um, I mean twice as much as the box price and then this one I'm always happy for hey honey products I did get one brush out of it, which is kind of nice. I do think all I will enjoy it It's a really cool looking brush. It looks kind of like a crystal and then the nail polish we'll see on that one But I also have some gifts to give out as well. So I think they were pretty good Could they have been better? Of course, but you know, they're never going to be absolutely perfect because you know we all have different things and there's only so many things that we can um, customize with. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you got in your BoxyCharm or Ipsy as well. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.